Hi, welcome to Copenhagen. Thanks for dropping in. Hope everybody is doing well. Today I am unboxing two very cute animal diamond paintings from Smith's Beads. So a few months ago I was doing a YouTube live and we were talking about diamond painting in general and then we started talking about diamond paintings aimed more at kids and Mike from Smith's Beads was in and I know Mike pretty well now, he's done uh, quite a few customs for me. Normally when I deal with Smith's Beads it's to talk about customs. Uh, they did the Newhound one, uh, a picture that I took in Copenhagen that I converted into a diamond painting. They also did the Hans Christian Andersen one, uh, the Hoverfly which I've just finished recently and Tivoli at Halloween which I just started yesterday or maybe the day before. So normally we talk about customs and um, I send them things and we talk about sizes and stuff. But when we were, when I mentioned uh, kids, uh, Mike commented and he said we actually have some uh, sort of kiddie ones. So I remembered that and then a few weeks later uh, I had a look uh, and I decided uh, to order two. I think there were four or five, I can't remember now, but I picked the two that I liked best. So this turned up today and uh, we'll just get straight in and see what's in it. So as I said there are two diamond paintings in here. Now when I say for kids I'm sort of thinking they could be gifts for kids, like completed, to put in their bedrooms or maybe a slightly older kid could do one for their younger brother and sister, that sort of thing. Um, or maybe the parents or the grandparents could work on them uh, with them. And I just thought it's something a bit different and gets them away from TV and computer games and all that stuff so okay so grey bag and inside the grey bag it's sealed again so cut through this now these are definitely something different for me but I think it would be fun to do and as I said, there could be a gift uh, already completed. Uh, maybe good for a, a nursery or a young kid's bedroom. That's the sort of thing I was thinking about. So the box, uh, <laughs> the box has done its job uh, barely, but that's the Danish postal service for you. So here we go. Hopefully there are two in here. Okay, I'll put them to the side. And okay. Initially I was thinking, how do I know which one? Oh glow. Glow in the dark. I didn't know I was getting them. Uh, I'm sort of guessing that Mike threw these in. He, he tends to throw things in just to catch me off guard because I don't open these like before I actually do the video. So I've got a bag of glow drills and a bag of ABs. So yeah, I'll need to find out if these are extras. I don't know if Mike has stuck a note in. I don't think he has. So I'll, uh, I'll update in the comment, uh, sorry, yeah in the comments, in the comments, um, I'll update whether these were extras that Mike threw in to let me play around with or if they actually come with the kits. Now I'm thinking they don't come with the kits when I think about it because they don't have numbers, it just says glow. So I get the idea and it will make sense when you see the pictures. So. Two diamond paintings and two bags and 
This is the first one. Okay, uh, name cartoon cow. Uh, pretty sure that is not a cow. I would say that's a zebra or zebra. Um, so we'll have a look at that one first, I think. We'll get rid of the box. Carefully drop it there. So, is this one of these bags that has the little glue part or not? I don't think so. So we'll just cut it. So we'll have a look at the drills first. A lot of white. Now that's what I'm thinking. Mike has got A B fifty two hundred. These are fifty two hundreds. So I think possibly his idea um, was to replace these with these. So the background uh, would be well, it's all white. So it could be the background is A B's. Or I could use it, use A, B's on the zebra and use a plain white for the background. And I need to think about that one. So I'll have a look. And they are square drills. Just having a quick look at them. And what I'm looking at is the back of the drills. These look nice and flat. And sometimes you get drills that have got big dimples in the back which still stick but I always think that if it's a perfectly flat base it will stick better because there is more drill to stick to the glue um, quite a few 5200s as you can see uh, but it's pretty obvious why so move them out of the way so actually more colours than I thought but very few of each colour as you can see the main colour is white I thought these were all 310s but they aren't we've got good old 310 the black and then 939 which is a very dark blue and they almost look the same so you can see uh, only small amounts of each colour, which is good um, if you've got kids uh, doing it. It's not too big, it's not too complicated. Not so sure about the white background though, um, could get a bit boring for them. Maybe they could concentrate on the zebra and a responsible adult uh, with a lot of patience could do the background for them. So have a look at the, the actual key uh, just to see if I, I'll put these carefully on the floor that's the good thing about these little bags they won't pop open so I can just drop them so that's that's then tidily on the floor um, have a look at the sheet so it is a 25 by 30 square I'm pretty sure you can order round if you want, if you don't like square. And we have the key, so 30 colours. As I said, most of it is white, 8,257 or 42 bags of white. Um, the rest are mainly a single bag. So not too much to that. So we'll have a look at the canvas. So this is it, this is the whole canvas. Um, double sided adhesive, I can tell that because we've got the opaque cover. Um, we've got a bit of crease in here. I'm hoping uh, that this will flatten out the, the same as uh, all of these double sided adhesives. And I just cut my nails right before this video. That was not the best move. So uh, double sided adhesive, one of the problems or potential problems is that you accidentally lift the glue when you lift the cover 
which I didn't do. Uh, if I do that, you should be able to see the shininess of the glue. But the way that I check is I touch the, the back of the cover. If my finger sticks to that, I know that I've actually lift, I accidentally lifted the adhesive. Um, this is double-sided adhesive. Uh, it's just like a massive piece of double-sided tape. So you have to be careful that you don't accidentally pull up the tape, which can be done if you catch the corner. So the check is to peel it back a little bit and just touch. If this isn't sticky, everything is good. So take one. I can't believe I'm doing this without nails. That's the second one again. If I tilt it, hopefully you can see the shininess of the glue and it's not sticky. So what I normally do, this is a very small one, but what I normally do is peel up two corners, work my way to the middle, just do it nice and slowly. I don't want to rip it. And then get it sort of even and then just hold the top peel back normally take it about halfway put it back again you can see the crease has almost come out and that will flatten really easily in fact, you know, no creases or anything in it, it will uh, lay down, so no problem with that. And then what we do is we turn it over and we do the same thing from the back. All this does is gets any tension that's in the canvas out, so uh, it sits flat. But normally I do this because the canvases come rolled up and... When you put them on the table, they want to curl back up again. This one was in a box, it was folded over, but it isn't a crease or anything, it isn't a hard crease, so that won't be any problem. But I'm just doing this anyway because I'm going to take the, the cover off so we can have a good look at the whole thing. So again, I've checked that, it's not sticky. And work towards the centre. And I do this with every double sided adhesive canvas. Take it and it's, I can feel tension and as I pull back I get there and there's, there's no tension. So that means that I've pulled it back past the point that I did the opposite way and then just let it go back. So now just going to reveal the whole picture. So we can have a look at the double sided adhesive, we can check for air bubbles which is the most common problem. Um, when these are manufactured, quite a lot of times air accidentally gets trapped underneath the glue and it creates little air bubbles or rivers which uh, look like silver lines. So we'll just have a look and see. Uh, it's going to be easy to see if I just tilt it to the light. And that's perfectly flat. Because it's such a small canvas, I could see that as soon as I peeled the cover. But I'm using the light to let you see. It's absolutely perfect. Once this is, uh, once you start working on this, just the weight of the drills themselves will flatten that little bump. Um, it won't be a problem. You can see if I just press down and it's okay. So this is a cartoon cow. I think they need to rename that. But it is very cute. And 25 by 30. It won't take too long. I think it would look good in a young kid's bedroom. A nice cheery little diamond painting and maybe it would get them interested so uh, we'll have a look now this is always the hard part when you take the cover off trying to get it back on so it covers all the glue that's why I'd, uh, in fact before I do that 
So I should look at the print quality. So you can see uh, no problems at all reading those symbols. They're very, very clear. And the other thing, um, I noticed that when I started buying from Smith Speeds, they always uh, have them marked with these squares. And each square is 100 drills, it's 10 by 10. Um, I think it sort of helps a bit to keep things straight because you've got this sort of slightly bolder line uh, both directions and it can be a guide for people who are new uh, rather than just being just blank with no bold lines um, it, it just makes it a bit easier for you to make sure that you're in the square so this is, like I said, this is the hardest part. And I'm just going to get it roughly because I'm actually going to change this. I don't use the original cover. I use cover sheets and I have done videos about that and how I use them. Uh, in fact, I'll, I'll stick one up here, a link, uh, in case you don't know what cover sheets are. So that was Cartoon Cow. And the next one... make sure that I put these drills on the opposite side so I can get them mixed up. Next one is uh, this little tiger. Again, white background. So, um, as I said, maybe the the adult um, could do the background because I think um, it, would, it would bore kids and they could concentrate on the little tiger. So, this one has 35 colours and again 25 by 30 so they're the same size so I think they would look quite good up on the wall in the kids bedroom uh, so we'll have a look at the drills again the main one is going to be 5200 white um, background and again just a quick quick look but I can see uh, the base of these drills are perfectly flat. So good quality drills. Maybe the colours. Slightly more in this one. And these orange colours. But everything looks fine. As I said, um, I have bought a lot from Smith Speed, so uh, I know the drills are good, but you always want to check, you never know, you know sometimes you might get a bad one, but no problems. So I'll drop these on the opposite side so I don't mix them up. What I do is I put these in a freezer bag and put the, the key in with them so I know which diamond painting the drills are for and just tie a knot in it and stick it in the pile beside the rest of them I think I've now got about 36 to do these are the smallest ones <coughs> um, so they got this one right uh, Tiger and basic uh, just basic instructions on how to start a diamond painting but I would recommend if you're totally new to diamond painting um, to search on YouTube and watch some videos it'll make more sense than just reading uh, these little notes so that's the tiger and again um, double sided adhesive and we'll do the same thing, go for the corner he's actually come off easy um, Peeled it back, checked, not sticky. And do the same, no side. So again, we've got the glue, you can see the shiny. The glue should always go over the picture, like over the border, so that the drills that are at the edges, all of the base goes on the glue. You don't want the glue half on and half off. Um, so that's fine. Again, we'll uh, peel it back, 
get it to the center, hold the top, get it up a little bit, and peel it back. Cute little uh, tiger, and let it go. Turn to the other side, get the corner. Got it. So again, you can see the glue. No glue on the colour, which is what you want. And next corner, same thing, just double check. Take it to the centre. Peel it back, you feel it tight, keep going, keep going, and then it goes loose. So the tension is out of the canvas, but as I said, that's really more for uh, canvases that are rolled up. But I just thought I would show how I do it anyway. And then we'll have a look at the actual picture. See if there are any air bubbles in this one. <coughs> so, close up. Print quality is perfect. And again, just checking over, looking for any air bubbles, which shows silver lines. You can see it's absolutely flat. So they've done a really good job of this. I think maybe larger ones cause more problems, but no problem with this. Again, we've got that little crease uh, where it was folded, but it really won't be any problem. And we have the key down the side, they have the DMC numbers. Uh, just looking at that, it is a bit dark. Um, that is meant to be an omega sign. So black on, I don't know if that's dark purple or dark brown. Kind of hard to see that. Um, yeah, you can see it but they are a bit dark, but they're definitely readable. So, that's it. Um, two cute little animal diamond paintings. I think they will look really nice in, uh, in a kid's bedroom. So, uh, again, Smith Speeds, um, as I said, I've used them a lot. I've got to know Mike pretty well. I did pay for these. I bought them. Um, it isn't a, a freebie or anything like that. I did buy them, so just wanted to clarify that. Um, so I'll be working on these at some point. I'm curious to use glow. I've never tried glow in the dark drills before. Um, now I have to decide which one I'm, I'm doing the glow in the dark background. So glow in the dark and uh, ABs. So if anybody has an opinion on which one should get the glow, should it be the tiger, should it be the zebra, let me know in the comments. And if you've used the uh, glow in the dark drills, how long do they glow for? Um, I'm thinking like when I was a kid you had watches that had glow-in-the-dark uh, glow faces it only lasted a few minutes before it disappeared um, I'm curious about these glow-in-the-dark so how long do they glow in the dark so that's it two nice ones from Smith Speeds so a couple of uh, cute little diamond paintings from smithsbeads.co.uk If you are in America, uh, you can try smithsbeads.com I will put links in the description But um, yeah, I think they are uh, very clean, uh, cartoony, happy, cheery little pictures I'm sure that uh, children would really enjoy them The big question is which one do you like best? Do you like the cow or the tiger cub? Which one would you choose? 
as I said, uh, they do have more. Uh, I'm trying to remember. Um, hedgehogs come to mind, and, and that's it. I can't remember. But you can always check them out at smithspeeds.co.uk if you're in Europe, or smithspeeds.com if you are in the States. So I would just like to say thanks Mike for the idea, um, as I said it, it just happened to come up in a conversation on the YouTube live and uh, we were talking about diamond paintings for kids and um, Mike said we have some so I thought yeah I'll, I'll get them and uh, it'll be something a little bit different, a little fun projects. So uh, talking about YouTube live, if you would like to catch me live and have a bit of a, a chit chat uh, please subscribe and hit the notification button when I come on you will get a little notification to say that I am there um, I don't have dedicated days or times though uh, it is pretty random because uh, I don't really have a set time that I'm always available so I just uh, fit them in when I can we do talk about diamond painting, but we talk about a lot of other things. Uh, I, I really enjoy talking to people from all around the world and finding out a little bit about the area that they live in um, in the world. I'm originally from Scotland and I moved to Denmark uh, in 2012. So uh, I'll maybe talk about that, some of the, the differences between Scotland and Denmark. Um, we talk about a lot of things and the main thing is everybody has a bit of fun, we relax um, you can see what, whatever project it is that I'm working on at the moment it is Tivoli at Halloween which is a picture that I took at Tivoli uh, in Copenhagen Tivoli is the second oldest amusement park in the world and they have events at Halloween, Christmas and Easter uh, at Halloween they have, I think it's about 10,000 pumpkins throughout the park and they build a little village of creepy houses and witches and things. Um, at Christmas they have over a million Christmas lights and again they build a little Christmas village. They go all out when they do their events. So I took a picture, uh, I think now maybe about four years ago, I took a picture of the entrance of Tivoli with a massive Halloween head hanging above the gates and uh, some witches brooms um, stuck into the brickwork. So I've just started that. It's going to take probably about two months. Um, it's a 60 by 80. It has 90 colours. If you're interested to see the progress of that, you can follow me on Instagram. That's uh, at Diamond Painting Gym on Instagram, and I post a, a weekly whip uh, every Wednesday, and you can see the progress. The last one I did is called the Hoverfly. Again, that was another custom uh, done by Smith Speeds, and that was a picture that I took in the botanical gardens in Copenhagen of a hoverfly that landed on a flower just as I was about to take the picture. And I've just finished that. I am just about to frame it. I think I'll be framing it tomorrow, maybe the day after. And it will appear up on this wall very soon. So that's it. Uh, I can't think of anything else. So if you're interested in seeing any more unbaggings, unboxings, comparisons, basically anything to do with diamond painting, Please subscribe, hit the notification button and maybe I will catch you on YouTube Live. So in the meantime, take care, be safe and wash your hands.